Farmers constantly strive to increase crop yields, and soybean farmers are no exception. At the 2011 Nebraska Soybean Day and Machinery Expo, farmers were presented with new UNL research, which examines several yield-impacting factors in soybean production. Market Journal's Curtis Harms has more. As 2011 draws to a close, it's a good time for farmers to look at crop yields. By evaluating this year's harvest, crop producers will be able to begin plans for next year's growing season. At this year's Nebraska Soybean Day and Machinery Expo on December 15th at the Saunders County Fairgrounds, soybean farmers from across Nebraska gathered to hear from University of Nebraska-Lincoln researchers, other growers, and industry representatives about soybean production. One of the presentations at the expo discussed university research in producing high-yielding soybean crops, which can be achievable through proper crop and soil management. University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension Nutrient Management Specialist Charles Wortman presented the research. Wortman says soybean producers can position themselves to succeed by properly managing soil acidity. One of the most important with soybeans is to manage your soil pH and avoid soil acidity. Uh, which means lime application if you have that low pH. And uh, that's probably the biggest opportunity. In Wortman's research this year with UNL, he looked at many different products in the market to see which may increase yields. In his findings, Wortman finds some products can increase yields, while others fail to increase soybean bushels. So we looked at uh, several things. We looked at uh, starter nitrogen, and that on average gave about a bushel and a half yield increase. Not big, but maybe enough to pay for the cost of it if uh, you're already doing starter application. We looked at use of inoculum to enhance nitrogen fixation, and that did not result in increased yields. And it's consistent with um, a lot of other research for our soils that traditionally have, have had a lot of soybean production. While some of the products tested may have not significantly increased soybean yields, Wortman says many soybean producers continue applying them to fields. He says soybean prices may make these products more appealing. And it's very attractive to use them because our commodity prices have been high, and if you can get a gain of even two or three bushels, it you know, covers a significant amount of expense. In addition to starter applications, such as nitrogen, the time of year soybean seeds are planted can impact yields. Wortman says the earlier soybeans are planted, the better. Uh, try to get as much in and by the first week of May as you can, because you start losing yield after that. Uh, this year was not a good year for that, because we had wet weather, and so a lot of soybeans went in around the 10th of May and later. But uh, normally try to get them in early. Because soil and weather conditions can vary across the soybean fields of Nebraska, Wortman says there is plenty of room for additional research in the future. He says many factors continue to impact soybean yields, but these problems are at a localized level. For instance, in this area, the Platte Valley, as well as northeast Nebraska, we have some calcareous soils that are holding back yield. They're resulting in iron chlorosis problems. And, um, we know solutions to these, but the problems occur uh, inconsistently across years and often in small parts of fields. And so if it's done, the management is done to correct the problem, it probably needs to be on a site-specific or variable rate basis. For more information on crop production research, visit cropwatch.unl.edu. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Curtis Harms. Thanks, Curtis. Stay tuned to Market Journal in 2012 as we continue to bring you timely information on crop preparations for this coming spring.